My name is Carly. I'm on the capital market sales team at Colt. And if I had to sort <laughs> sorry. <laughs> hey, John T, what one word would you use to describe me? There you go. Insane. Oh my God, my dog is my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> I genuinely can't imagine my life without this dog. <laughs> Literally having a dog, I feel like, gives me purpose. Even on days where you feel like just really low or that maybe people can't understand what you're going through, the dog will always be there for you and always be there for a cuddle and understanding. Having him here as like a support system, especially with some of the injuries I've dealt with, I had a life-changing accident not even 18 months ago, which is crazy. I was skiing with my best friend in France. <laughs> the conditions had changed, it got really icy, and I realized I was going a lot faster than I should have. And I absolutely wiped out on the mountain. I heard a telltale pop in my knees and I was in a serious amount of pain. My friend was already down the mountain. She said she could see the little X that you put um, your skis in whenever someone's down. And she said, please don't let it be Carly. Please don't let it be Carly. I ended up tearing all four of my major ligaments in my right knee and breaking that leg as the femur and tibia smashed into each other. And I ended up doing my left knee as well and tearing my MCL. Those are the lovely scars I now have here. I tore it so bad and impressively that the surgeon was like, that shouldn't have happened. You should not be able to tear all four ligaments in one crash. It was the days and weeks after that were really difficult. This empty space where my normal day to day and the things I enjoy and love were replaced with just pain and waiting. I was in so much pain and so focused on physical therapy and getting physically better that taking care of my mental health just kept taking a back burner and taking a back burner. Taking time away from mental health is no different than taking time away because you've broken your leg. I actually took more time away for managing my mental health than I did for the actual surgery and accident. My accidents have made me reflect on the importance of mental strength, but it's just crazy because I, I don't I don't feel like I have mental strength, but when I look back and tell these stories, I must have because here I am smiling. But it's really hard in those moments to muster anything that feels like strength. And I think it's only upon reflection that you realize, or at least for me, I realized how strong I was. Because in those moments, I, I felt helpless, hopeless, you're just trying to get by, let alone be strong, but there is strength and beauty in being able to do that. Whenever people ask questions like, you know, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Where do you see yourself in five years? I used to have all these big, like, grand plans. And, and now when I answer that, I say, I just want to be here and I want to be happy. And I really think that's enough and that's okay. And there's, there's beauty in accepting that, like, to just get by and just live your life when times are really hard. Um, that's enough. It's absolutely enough. It's been just about a year since I took some time off for my mental health. So a full year later, being in a position where I'm a month away from doing more cycling than I've ever done, it represents a lot for me. Yeah, future me is a badass, current me is a badass, but that person has just done a 450 kilometer bike ride. You know, I felt a little bit of like imposter syndrome about like, 
why in the world am I being featured? In terms of the other people who are out there who are like, you know, huge on bike riding. But then I thought about, you know, what what is my message? And maybe it's almost a good thing that we're speaking on a day where I don't feel fully at my best because the things I believe about mental health and about strengths and fortitude and getting through it and taking care of yourself when it really matters are on days like today where you're not feeling tops and that's when you really have to lean on the work you've done on yourself and for yourself when you're feeling good when you're not I can't underline the importance of that enough is just taking care of your mental health whatever that looks like for you it's just so important to lean on the people in your community and if you feel like you don't have one you've got one in me and you've got one at colt honestly 